Poverty is everywhere in the remote villages in Nepal. Entire families pick through trash, looking for something, anything to sell. The whole day, we pick plastic and then go to sell it. But the money is just not enough. A lot of times I have to stay hungry. When I eat in the morning, I don't have anything for the evening. Many parents have sold a child to traffickers, hoping they'll lead a better life and earn money for the family. This father even has a bill of sale from a circus in India. The circus went bankrupt, and his daughter has vanished. A lot of people go abroad for work, and a lot of women get trafficked into a circus. To prevent more people from disappearing into slavery, organizers from the Women's Skill Creation Center, known as WASP, are helping Nepalis earn a living at home. In this village, women now make candles and briquettes for cooking. With a small amount of startup equipment, they've built a thriving micro-enterprise. Slavery survivors want the government to invest in more projects like this. They say that here, they've eliminated slavery. In the past, it was common for five to ten women to become trafficking victims. But now, we haven't heard of any women going abroad. It seems we've stopped it completely. Some families have received animals to make money. No one has any job in our family, so this buffalo produces milk, and that's how we earn a living. Suman was once a circus slave herself, but now she helps her village resist traffickers. She warns others about the dangers of leaving home to look for work. Before forming these groups, we didn't express ourselves much. But after joining the meetings, I think we can do something better in our life. 